improving as Sybil Charm moves after them in third. Then I have Envy and Cyber Attack and T. Oliver and Save, being followed by Lumia Rock. And after them is Spearling Bjarg and Pro Bolo Alexander. Clay Castle's dropped away. Then Mile End and almost last is Semantics. Change of leader as Madly Truly is about to be challenged by Sybil Charm, who's closing on the outside as they go towards the line. It's Madly Truly by a head turn it from Sybil Charm, who improving as Sybil Charm moves after them in third. Then I have Envy and Cyber Attack and T. Oliver and Save, being followed by Lumia Rock. And after them is Spearling Bjarg and Pro Bolo Alexander. Clay Castle's dropped away. Then Mile End and almost last is Semantics. Change of leader as Madly Truly is about to be challenged by Sybil Charm, who's closing on the outside as they go towards the line. It's Madly Truly by a head turning from Sybil Charm, who ran well on debut in third, highly desirable. Lumia Rock next in fourth. The winner building on a good opening effort. Here's Holy Sunshine, the far running rail is one for Mum, who's clear of hope and innocence and tailing off is not even maybe. Racing to the final furlong, Spirit Gal from Dowd House challenging on the stands rail. Basil Martini with work to do. Up the hill they come, 150 yards left to go. Dowd House on the near side gets to Spirit Gal, who's riding at the go towards the line. Dowd House has pipped it from Spirit Gal Grace. Here's Holy Sunshine, the far running rail is one for Mum, who's clear of hope and innocence and tailing off is not even maybe. Racing to the final furlong, Spirit Gal from Dowd House challenging on the stands rail. Basil Martini with work to do. Up the hill they come, 150 yards left to go. Dowd House on the near side gets to Spirit Gal who's riding at the go towards the line. Dowd House has pipped it from Spirit Gal. Grace Darling stayed on into third. Basil Martini fourth. looking for racing room ahead of heart rate who took a stumble then half time show moonleg and glide ranger they're bunching up the hill and it's winemaker who's come with a sweeping run to head them all off here in the Irish EBF auction series maiden for two year olds it's winemaker and gavin ryan lengthening their stride going to the line mount mary's running on the inside too late winemaker beat mount mary looking for racing room ahead of heart rate who took a stumble then half time show moonleg and glide ranger they're bunching up the the hill and it's winemaker who's come with a sweeping run to head them all off here in the Irish EBF auction series maiden for two year olds it's winemaker and Gavin Ryan lengthening their stride going to the line Mount Mary's running on the inside too late winemaker beat Mount Mary and third place Mount Rupel. Sablon within the centre part is Jenny. On the far side is a day to remember. Perfect news comes into it in the yellow jacket. With my eyes adore you. From off the pace, Teresa Mendoza switching course is benefit. They're wide across the track. Perfect news, Teresa Mendoza as they go towards the line. It's the visitors say. Perfect news. Sablon within the centre part is Jenny. On the far side is a day to remember. Perfect news comes into it in the yellow jacket. With my eyes adore you. From off the pace. Teresa Mendoza switching course is benefit. They're wide across the track. Perfect news, Teresa Mendoza as they go towards the line. It's the visitors say. Perfect news, Teresa Mendoza benefit in between them. Then my eyes do you a day to remember. Hall next with Hot Sunset Invincible Horse. They climb the hill and it's on the near side. Hod's Girl from Line Ring. They're on opposite sides of the track. Stanhope Teddy Boy joins them with Towers on Hot Sunset and Tammany Hall. But in front and clear on the stand side is Hod's Girl is lengthening right away for a six to seven length advantage. In second place is Tammany Hall. Tammany Hall next with Hot Sunset Invincible Horse. They climb the hill and it's on the near side. Hod's Girl from Line Ring. They're on opposite sides of the track. Stanhope Teddy Boy joins them with Towers on Hot Sunset and Tammany Hall but in front and clear on the stand side is Hod's Girl is lengthening right away for a 6 to 7 length advantage in second place is Tammany Hall then Towers and Line Ring Teddy Boy Sierra Nevada just edges ahead of Dan Silla. Vega Magnifico on the outside as they race to the final for like and a half in the Westco Electrical 50th anniversary three runner race. And it's Sierra Nevada gone again in front for Shane Foley. Dan Silla, Vega Magnifico stays in last as they run up to the finish. It's Sierra Nevada in the lead from Dan Silla and Vega Magnifico. That'll be the one, two, three.
Sierra Nevada just edges ahead of Dan Siller. Vega Magnifico on the outside as they race to the final for like and a half in the Westco Electrical 50th anniversary three runner race. And it's Sierra Nevada gone again in front for Shane Foley. Dan Siller, Vega Magnifico stays in last as they run up to the finish. It's Sierra Nevada in the lead from Dan Siller and Vega Magnifico. That'll be the one, two, three. Sierra Nevada, Dan Siller, Vega Magnifico. Furling and a half from home, and Alba Libra, one off the rail, just strikes the front from start of cash, and Loom Large runs on with Kodiak Prince Joop on the outside of its all good man. 150 yards to go, Alba Libra from Loom Large, who's coming with every single stride. These two lock together as they go to the line. Bobbing heads, Loom Large on the near side of Alma Libra. Furling and a half from home, and Alba Libra, one off the rail, just strikes the front from start of cash, and Loom Large runs on with Kodiak Prince Joop on the outside of its all good man. 150 yards to go, Alma Libra from Loom Large, who's coming with every single stride. These two lock together as they go to the line. Bobbing heads, Loom Large on the near side of Alma Libra, then Kodiak Prince observing its all good man. Joop, start of cash in the early leader, and Dare to Flair next on the inside.